Welcome back, baseball fans. Five here, and today we're in another episode. Um, my previous episode, I was getting ready to post, kind of corrupted uh, through OBS, so I do apologize. I do not have uh, the fifth save on here, but let's get right into getting into a game. Uh, we are at Jacksonville, and we are up by one. So um, I do have five saves, six and two thirds pitch, uh, one hit, and nine strikeouts. But when I was getting ready to render the video, I was listening to it, and it just it it was completely messed up. I don't know what happened, um, but I redid all my settings in OBS to get that taken care of. So I apologize that I do not have the um, that episode up. But this will be episode nine. Um, hopefully, uh, we can get a save out of this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into this game. Um, also, we definitely need to get some more training points. Uh, I definitely need to work on control and the break of my changeup because it's just it's abysmal. Um, it's not breaking in the way that I want it to break, and it's just staying up in the zone. Which once we go up into AAA or Number even into the majors, that's going to be, be a big, pitcher. big, big problem Number of hanging up there because most of the AAAers, you know, have seen seen the show. And they know how to, you know, take that pitch. So let's work on the changeup right now. Um, I want to go over also after the game my um, stats. Uh, what's really cool, I didn't know if this was in last year's or the year before's. But it shows you, like, the, the breakdown of first pitch strikes. Um, also, if, you know, uh, what, your, what, what percentage of your pitches are being used. Um, as you guys watch these videos, mostly they are fastballs continuously. Which uh, is great down at this level, because um, I mean, our pitches are coming in at 95, 96, but when we start moving up, you know, that's going to be nothing uh, compared to what they see in AAA majors and stuff like that. So hopefully we can work on our out other pitches once we get the fastball dominated. Um, it looks like it might be a possible bad game for us because we're, we're not getting nothing in, in the zone uh, here with warm ups. But let's just work on the fastball these last bit. There we go. 98. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to break tri Francisco triple digits. Will step in. All right. Let's start up with the high game. heat. Um, hopefully we get this first pitch strike, which we don't. First offering to him stays I fail at that uh, no the meter strikes. still. Still trying to get used to the meter, boys. There we go. Right and down the middle. That was just a, to make it one ball a beautiful one pitch. Strike. Oh, we're going to get a circle change. To be nice. A little bit more patient here. He's Let's see what we can do with that. Already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. And I bobbled it. And he'll reach first Great. They can't make the play that error goes to me. So, uh, that was definitely not good pitching there. Uh, maybe, maybe we can get a double play. That was a yeah, bad changeup, but luckily we got, you know, go a call is, on our side. Another good call. Like Whoa, that was a... I'm, I'm liking this umpire. It's calling those low throw. strikes. Oh, I didn't call that one. That was a little too low. Let's see if we can get him to chop on this changeup. I think he was thinking about it. Fastball, let's just strike him out. Let's set so we don't get a ball. You do take that there, hit. caught him looking with the heater in the inner half of the plate. That was a beautiful, beautiful pitch. Anthony, all right, one for four. Let's see if he's going to try to be the hero. First, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. There we go. Warning we'll track power. As he makes that had me a little bit worried there because that would have been taking the lead. Two. So here we go. Fernando Tejada. We'll try again. Fernando for Tejada, two for four. Let's see how he does with us. And he makes good contact. That was a hanging breaking ball way out in front. That definitely could have been uh, could have been bad. But we get the grounder to second base. Game over. That's unbelievable. Good pitching. Definitely very happy about that, getting that save. Um, but let's go into the stats and take a look. Uh, that's uh, save number six in this season. That's six for six. So I'm, I'm very, very happy of where we're at right now. Um, but I think definitely uh, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, let me know what you guys think and what we should be working on next. Um, I know a lot of people said, you know, control and stuff like that, which is, is definitely, definitely what we need to be working on also. Um, but that was actually a pretty, pretty good out. You know, I mean, eight strikes, three balls, one strikeout. 
big important strikeout too after we made the error um we didn't get really that many points uh since we got the fielding error uh it should have been about 80. so let's go take a look at locker room and what i really like about this is it just shows your percentage of strikes balls first pitch strikes ahead in the count percentage which we need to get get that up i mean we're low below 50. And we're right at 50% for uh, throwing fastballs. And then curveballs is a little bit over 25%. And I would say circle change is around uh, maybe 14 to 20, you know, 20%. What I think we really do need to work on is getting uh, making our changeup more dominant compared to our curveball. I think that will be uh, better in the long run. But I love the fact that it goes over your game log, your career stats against teams, um, and then your career stats in total. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys do like it, throw down a, a comment and hit a like. Um, also, you know, thank you guys for subscribing. And thank you for the feedback. And I will see you guys out on the diamond.